Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. This is stream clip number two from yesterday's stream. Um, this one is all about uh, creating a, a mega menu from a drop down navbar component. All right, so this should be a quick one. This is just the basics, it's nothing fancy, but it helps you understand how to expand or, or grow that drop down menu component that Webflow provi provides. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start again. Let's pretend that didn't happen because you know what? I figured it out behind the scenes. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I'm going to drag in a nav bar and I'm going to put a drop down into the nav bar. Okay, so right here. All right, so this drop down, open menu, and with the drop down list selected, we're going to call this DD for drop down. And notice how it adds open. Don't feel guilty asking questions. This is the this is the stream for questions. This is good. Um, and I like challenges. So this is open. And now we want to make sure that this, this is position absolute. I want to make sure that this is targeted to container. So what I have to do is go to its parents. So drop down. It's pre-styled so it has relative. So I'm going to set that as static. Okay. And notice how it got wider. The reason why it got wider is because now it's relating to nav menu, which again is pre-styled with relative. So I'm going to set this to static. Okay. And then this container right here, I want to set this to relative. So that way, when this drop down opens, it's going to target container three. So position absolute. I'm going to go to top left. This is what I want. All right. Now I don't want that on top of everything. So I'm going to give this a position top of 60. Okay. And then now we basically have a container for a mega menu. Now it's just up to you how you want to style this. So I'm going to add a grid inside of this. Press, um, and I don't know, we can do four columns of things. You know, four columns, one row, and we can drag in each of these into the grid. And do whatever the heck we want with it. Like this grid can have some padding and then each of these links could be, oh, look at that, that's weird. Each of these links can, um, let's not give it a margin. Again, a lot of stuff when you drag in a Webflow component, it's pre-styled with a bunch of CSS that you have to override. Okay, so drop down link, drop down link. And there we go. So style this however we want. Up to you. So basically you have a mega menu. So the, the basics of it is get the Webflow drop down. Let's close this real quick. Here we go. Get the Webflow drop down and have it target the container. Okay. Have it target the container. And to do that, you would have to set drop down and the nav menu to position static and set the container to position relative. So that way, when this is position absolute, when it's open, it's targeting right here relative to container three. And then just drag in a grid or a div, whatever you want to make your beautiful mega menu and boom, there you go. So I'm showing you the basics so you can take this and, and grow from it. This is the seed. Now plant that thing and, and make that grow.
Good question. Uh, next. And again, sorry for not showing my screen. I get excited when I hear a, a challenge. Someone's like, can you do this? Yes, I can. Oh, let me do it right now. <laughs> I got to slow down. I got to slow down. Uh, okay. I've seen my chats popping up on your screen lamp. Screen lamp in the light yellow font. What? Not sure. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very cool. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Um, what was another thing? We just didn't I have a tweet about this and then people responded what they want. Hold on. I'm going to go look for that tweet. I should have made a list. Have you ever done something with breadcrumb preset slash example? Breadcrumb. Uh, need an example. Send me a link. Mm, where is that? Okay, there we go. I found the tweet. Uh, let's see here. Let's say you have a collection list of food products. As you hover over the product items only with the text in the list, it shows the product images and place uh, on the, another place on the screen. Uh, fair away, far away from the collection wrapper itself. Not sure what you mean. Uh, Steven, are you doing the Squarespace gallery example today or is that enough time? Uh, Steven, because you donated through my buy me a coffee page, I'm making a dedicated video for you and it'll be put on my YouTube channel. Uh, okay, Super Arthur, main menu, submenu, page. Uh, Main menu, sub menu, page. Yeah, I don't. I haven't tried breadcrumbs. Uh, I know that the Webflow University does breadcrumbs. Like if I go here, there's breadcrumbs right here. Let's see if I go to intro. I think these are. Man, I know someone did a uh, a clonable. Oh, Matthew did a uh, did a video on it. I gotta learn it. See, there's a lot of stuff I don't know yet. I've never done. I've never had a client ask for breadcrumbs. To be honest, I've been doing just basically brochure type of marketing sites or or um, nonprofit sites. So maybe Matthew. He Matthew's in our uh, QA team. Um. Break crumbs, breadcrumbs, clonable. Oh, it's on our blog too. How to build. Oh, by Matthew. Okay. So, yeah. The Webflow recipe. Uh, yeah, they're just references. All right. I need to learn this. I need to learn this. But uh, if you want the link, here you go. Logan, you're not late. You're here on time. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Same with you, Hillary from Portland. Yes. Both of you are not late. Uh, let's see here. Forge. Any way to have the drop down slide down? Uh, yeah. I'm guessing you're talking about this. Uh, let's let's figure it out. Let's let's figure it out together. So my th my brain is already thinking when I hover on drop down, this slides down. So I'm going to add an interaction where this is mouse hover. 
start animation and oh slides down oh wait 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 now i know what you want you want okay i got you i got you i got you uh menu one up here okay so what i'm gonna do is for dd open i'm going to set this overflow to hidden and i'm going to set the height to zero i'm basically doing an accordion this is just like an accordion where you start from zero and then when you interact with something else like a faq page or something you click on the question and then it opens up like this okay so how do you do this well right here the element needs overflow hidden so it can do this slide down thing and we're going to start um actually we're going to keep the height as auto for now now this drop down needs a trigger and i'm going to use mouse hover and i created a new animation and now i want to affect this uh dd all right and so i'm going to set this to size. So I'm going to add a size and I'm going to set this as initial state. So what this means is when the page first loads, what does DD look like? And I'm going to say the height is zero. So when you first load the page, the height is zero. And now to make that animation of the height grow, I'm going to set the size another step, the height to auto. Okay. And we can choose the easing to like out quint. And there you go. So preview. There you go. Oh, so that's how to turn it on. Now, how do you turn it off? All right. So we need the opposite interaction. So I'm going to close this. And we're still on drop down. So on hover out, I'm going to start animation. I'm going to duplicate menu appear and then go into it and rename it um, hide and delete that second step. And for DD size, I'm going to turn off initial state because this is what we want the thing to do after we hover out. We don't want this as initial state. We already have the initial state on the appear. And then um, ease out quint preview on off on off boom done <laughs> great question uh forge abu when you are designing on webflow it looks different in the edit and preview mode do we emphasize on the preview mode uh it looks um, so things do look different. The reason why is because the canvas size gets smaller because all of the Webflow UI is on when you're editing. But when you press preview, all of those Webflow UI, except for this top bar right here, goes away. So you're seeing the full width based on your browser window size. You're seeing the full width of your project. All right, uh, so that's the difference. And FYI, sometimes if things aren't working in your uh, project and you're like, preview doesn't, is not doing the thing. Why isn't it doing the thing? Well, sometimes the Webflow preview mode doesn't work. You know, there's just so many things happening in the background that, it's hard to understand. Hey, Tom, thanks for subscribing. Uh, so many things are happening in the background. So press publish and test your th project on the actual webflow.io link. So that way, um, ooh, wait. <laughs> what doesn't work? What happened? So that's what I mean. So why is it, why is it work here? Oh, open menu on hover. There we go. Let's try this again. See, that's what I mean. 
This is the real test right here. Okay, there we go. See? Huh. It's not doing that. It doesn't seem... Ugh. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Close delay. Yeah, let's do a close delay of like... 500 milliseconds. And so the close delay means like, um, I want that animation to happen before it closes. Aha! There we go. Much smoother. All right, that's it for this stream clip. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But either than that, again, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next stream clip. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.